What is up YouTube? It's Woogle with Woogles Outdoors. And one of the comments I got recently on my hammock hanging tips video is where do you put your backpack when you're hammock camping? That's a very good question and today I'm going to answer that. Uh, so you've skipped all the annoying parts of hanging the hammock and tying the ties and fixing your whoopee slings and putting your underquilt on. Now you got an empty backpack with just a little bit of stuff in it, maybe food that you need to secure. You don't want to let it get wet if it's raining, but you also don't want to leave it laying around for a mice to get in or a mouse to get in. So what do you do with it? Well, I'm going to show you what I do with mine and other options as well today. Let's see what we got. One of the options you have is to hang your backpack in the tree itself. You just take some paracord or rope or even just a carabiner and attach it to the top if it's an external frame. You know, I'm kind of winging it for this one because this is not what I generally do. However, for this uh, clip, you know, you can easily just attach it to the tree. Uh, I would only suggest doing this on like rainy, or I mean, I'm sorry, sunny days when it's not going to rain at all. Uh, but again, just snugly to the tree. It's usually up, but this still doesn't make it mice proof or anything like that. And that's the only problem about hammock camping is, generally speaking, you're not going to be able to make it fully mouse proof. But even in a tent, you're not able to do that because if a mouse really wants to get in, it's just going to chew through that tent. It doesn't care that you're there. Uh, I've woken up several times and seen mice like right around me and trying to get in my backpack. And all I have to do is just get up, move around a little bit, and they run. But they're going to come back later no matter what. So the only way to really combat mice or any kind of thing like that would just simply be to leave your pockets open. You know, if they eat your food, they, they eat your food. There's really not much you can do about that. Just leave your pockets open and just kind of keep a, a light sleep going on. Generally speaking, you don't have to worry about it if you just pick your areas out okay. Just kind of watch what's around, see if there's any kind of little holes in the ground, things that pl like places mice would burrow up in. But if you don't use the tree method, let's see what we can do for the other methods. Honestly, this is what I do right here. I just leave my pockets open, I get in my hammock, and I leave my backpack directly underneath my hammock or to my side. I leave it on the side that my skin and net opens on so I can easily get out, get to it quickly. Because uh, I, I do leave things in here like maybe a pistol or something like that that I want to keep close to me uh, during the middle of the night. So, for that being said, I usually just leave my stuff open, leave my pockets available. So, you know, if something wants to get in there and crawl around, it most certainly can. You also have the option of setting up like a mouse trap or something nearby if you're that concerned about mice. But I just ain't that concerned about them. I've camped hundreds and hundreds of times and it's just I've, I've never had issues really bad with them uh, I mean they kind of get in things sometimes but it's been like once or twice it's really it's, it's ultimately about where you pick your campsite to go to other than that the only other option I can really think of is if you had an under ha under hammock and it's just basically a small carriage net that goes underneath this hammock here and you take your backpack and put in it I have a 90 liter external frame backpack this is way too big to put into the any kind of undercarriage thing. Not to mention, I like to hang a little low, so I just don't have room for that kind of thing. That's what I do with my backpacks. What do you guys do with yours? Let's hear it in the comments below and see what you guys got going on. Because ultimately, the thing about hammock camping is, there is no right or wrong way to do it. There's ultimately your way of doing it. And what works for you, works for you. Hike your own hike, hang your own hang. Thanks guys for watching. This is Wiggle with Wiggles Outdoors. Like, subscribe, and comment. Peace out.